I haven't been lost for 16 years. I remember laying there with tears streaming down my face. I sin, he loves, sent his son to die. Emptied cross, three days, empty tomb. He raised, now grace. I was five. No one there to convince me or trick me. The Holy Spirit simply made it clear to me. And in that moment, I repented. I turned away from my lifestyle of sin and me, me, me. And I ran to Jesus. And there, I found peace, joy, hope, forgiveness. I could keep on going. He changed my life. And nothing could stop me from sharing it with everyone. Until something stopped me from sharing it with everyone. My flesh was tired of being alone. So she taught me how to twirl my hair. Catch his eye, and I just knew she was my only friend. Until I was too mundane to be her friend. But wait, I, I'll cuss. I'll throw out just a little of what I believe. You'll see, I'll make it up and we can still be friends. Needless to say, a hypocrite's closest companion will always be a bully. Depression and anxiety lay piety on a back shelf. A man might heal the hole in me. But I hadn't been lost for six years and suddenly God wasn't enough for me. Okay, add guilt. The father of all lies in his disguise reviled me just in time to be homeless. So I decided to hide me just in time to see my grandmother die in front of my eyes. Something died in me. But this man made my heart seem to come alive in me. He, he says he likes me. Likes me not? Likes me? Likes me not. Lies on me and I can't breathe or move or see, but you were supposed to give me back my identity. And now, do I stand before God guilty or does he? Is this my fault because I couldn't unfreeze? Ignorance is not bliss. I should have known you never loved me. Where is safety? Where is hope to fill this hole in my heart? The hole of my heart is aching. And this prescription cannot stop the writhing of my soul. But I hadn't been lost for 12 years. There must be some redemption. There must be some escape. I'll do it on my own in Jesus' name. I'm going to do something for him. Cross the seas, speak in his name. Look at me. Never knew I could do this without help. My child, I'm warning you. I will not be a coward. What would they think of me? Don't go. I will go. I will not turn back. I've got this. I don't need God's help. See? No more conflicting voices inside of me. So, I lied to me. And soon, the deepest wound weighed like a tomb inside of me. Not even this new guy could heal the cry in me. Deep wound, deeper sin, deeper still, and a cry that echoed in the heavens. If you're real, and you still want me, I have no strength to stand or come back, so come get me. Amen. And still sin I hid in this. Have I tried to scale your walls in vain? To cross your seas I pushed against your way. What for all the miles have you to say? Were you there beside me this whole way? Repentance is the sweetest kind of pain. So many chains crash like dead weight at my feet. I was broken. But the word of God and a woman to follow as she followed Christ. Two years of healing and hundreds of friends later. I haven't been lost for 16 years. 
You always find me in between the thunder and the lightning. I haven't been lost for 16 years, but so many years I spent fighting. No longer. I am not mine. Life is not about me. Jesus is Lord of my life, and he will live through this vessel for his glory. Nothing stands between us but love now. Nothing stands between us, so oh, nothing stands between us but love.